Welcome, Maurice. Being a Seiko fan, you're bound to run into Grand Seiko. And when you run into Grand Seiko, it's like you're running straight into a wall. That wall being a much higher price point, which can be very intimidating. Almost as intimidating as asking you to subscribe. So you look for alternatives and eventually find yourself looking at the Seiko Saab family. Specifically, the Saab 033 or the Saab 035. They're many times cheaper than a Grand Seiko, but their prices have gone up past their retail cost, mainly due to their popularity and discontinued status. These watches were born in a golden era of Seiko, where affordability did not compromise on quality and where timeless designs and compositions were demonstrated in many of their watches. I'm lucky to have obtained one many years ago, but mine has seen some changes. Let's look at the dimensions. The Saab 033 has a case diameter of 38 millimeters, lug width of 20 millimeters, lug to lug of 45 millimeters, and a thickness of 11 millimeters. The watch features 100 meters of water resistance with a push pull crown and a sapphire crystal with no anti-reflective coating. It has a display case back with the Hardlex crystal showcasing the 6R15 movement. One look at the Saab 033 and it is undeniably a Japanese watch. It has a curvy case architecture with a stepped design spanning across from lug to lug, making it interesting to look at while providing many facets for light to latch onto. The case flows incredibly well with the lugs curving downwards in an uninterrupted fashion, tying in well with the softly rounded case sides. The way the bracelet meets the case continues that stepped and curvy design with an exaggerated sweep to show that polished beveled mid case that pairs well with the bezel. Right there. The dial is a glossy lacquered ink black oozing classic aesthetics, a brilliant backdrop for the applied Seiko logo and crispy white text. We get channeled Grand Seiko-esque indices, which I find match the stepped case, functioning the same way to allow many surfaces for light to reflect from. At the tip of each marker, you will find loom. This helps to maintain the dressy look of the watch while still providing a light source if needed. The date window is framed, finished with brushing and polishing and opens to a black date wheel to create a seamless blend with the dial composition. The Saab 033 reminds me of your classic JDM cars, curvy and sleek with modding potential. Here, I've modded my watch with the goal of elevating it closer to that of a Grand Seiko while adding my own flair. The original hands were not bad, I just felt they didn't suit the watch. They had loom running along the top of the hands, different from the loom placement found on the indices. And to me, they disrupted the classic and sleek nature of the watch. In place of them, I opted for these beveled Dauphine hands, similar to the likes of Grand Seiko. These kept that sharp, sword-like appearance I loved about the original, but eliminated the distracting loom, giving the watch a more elegant appearance. And what about the seconds hand? Now, I'm a big fan of the original seconds hand. However, I wanted the mod to feel like it was mine. So I came up with a logo 
that would signify my initials and topped it off with a matching gold coloured seconds hand, which I find pops against that black dial. The bracelet is not a bad bracelet. However, it definitely doesn't remind me of a Grand Seiko. It's comfortable with solid links, but it doesn't feel as refined as the watch head. It features a brushed three link design with polished flanks and rounded edges. Tapering down ever so slightly to a milled clasp which has a protruding edge as you can see there so it's nothing special but it gets the job done the Saab 033 was my gateway into Grand Seiko and to this day it still gives me that Grand Seiko feeling. This mod was very simple, but it signifies a point in my watch journey and carries an imprint of myself. Let me know what you think of this mod and comment down below if you've modded a watch. If you liked the video, consider subscribing for more watch content and give the video a thumbs up. I'll see you in the next one.